that bimetallic disc temperature operated that's all it moves the plunger in turn moves a set of contacts contacts become stuck or welded shut over a period of time Contacts have a lot of sharp, jagged edges left from burning traces, arcing. While I was troubleshooting it, I actually caught two of the last times it opened up. And there was a tremendous amount of blue sparks and arc and a loud crack and burning sound. We'll see how much carbon's in here. Try a clean one. There it goes. There she pops. Something that's been around for generations, yet still effective. And I suspect when it was first invented, discovered, it was considered groundbreaking technology in its day. And this is a 2012 model. We'll listen for the bimetallic disc to operate. She popped up. The plunger would have pushed up and opened up the contacts. We'll see if we can hear it cool down. Bingo. These contacts were normally closed. The bimetallic disc only operates this much. Barely operates really. Maybe 30 thousandths. This is in a cold water state. So in a cold water state, buttoned up like so, we're normally closed. We have current flow. We're heating up water. The bimetallic disc opens at 135 degrees, or whatever you set it at. When that opens, it opens up in contacts about that far. It's, it's very close. Breaks the current through here, here. When it closes, completes the circuit. Well, it's halfway interesting anyway. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.